Guess who's back? Back again, Mikey's back. Tell a friend. Hey everybody, here we are with another video for you guys today. And today we're going to be doing a Lego castle update. And we're going to be talking about horses and horse barding and horse saddles and all that great stuff that goes into it that our knights ride. But before we go any further, let me just say, if you like this video any of the videos on the channel, please like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll be getting into this Lego castle update after the intro coming in now. So I recently made some Brickling purchases so I could upgrade my mounted cavalry and troops throughout my uh, Lego castle display and everything and we're going to go through what I've done here. My Lion Knight's got a pretty big upgrade and you can see uh, King Arthur there. He's riding the horse that came in the 90th anniversary castle. I just added uh, like a horse helmet to it with uh, the unicorn. And here we see one of the more modern horses. These modern horses are a big advantage over the older ones because they have the ability with for the horse to rear up. And so I like to utilize the modern ones as best as I can. And we'll be talking about that throughout the video. And here is, this is the best the older ones could do with these kind of bardings. Uh, th these are how those came originally in the set. Because the horse molding changed over the years, not all the old horse helmet can fit with the modern horses and so you you kind of have to know what you're doing as you're mixing and matching a little bit so uh but there's some of the classic ones in there as well and then i wanted to have enough horses so i could have like a jousting tournament going on and everything as well as have lots of knights riding into battle because so it's like you really can't get enough horses if you collect the medieval theme and all honesty so I, like I, I picked up a good 15 or so overall to, and it really helped uh, fill out everything that I wanted to do here in the display but you can never have enough and then here is into my black falcons and you can see this one here uh, it has a, it's a Prince of Persia horse this this horse came out with it's it's not one of the more modern ones it is one of the retro ones but I put this uh, helmet on it and with the blue saddle and everything I think it turned out pretty well I'm pretty happy with it and you can see it from the side with, with the, the printing that that uh, horse came with originally. And for how much that this uh, horse cost, I, I'm pretty happy with it because I, I got it relatively inexpensively. And here's one of the newer ones. And this, this horse came out um, with the blacksmith shop and I just took it off of that carriage and here is my green knight and he has a modern horse and he's got this cool green saddle that i found you know it's not as good as a barding but it'll do and here's the captain of the green knights and this he rides another one of these prince of persia horses but this time he's got on the silver horse helmet with the unicorn and again from the side angle i think it looks pretty good and i didn't pay a lot to put this together which is always key and as we move on to my red dragon knights the only thing i changed here is i put the red horn on hordak he's the captain of them but this one here i put together because i i found these these little horse helmets here with like the dragon look I found a bunch of these pretty inexpensively in a couple of the stores that I shopped at and I think they worked out well and I think Basil the Bat Lord looks pretty awesome on this horse like this in all honesty so it's a pretty good combination and good use of these older retro horses because this these helmets would not fit on the newer horses unfortunately and here is my blue lion knights and this is a barding that came with this castle and that's uh, exactly how it was out of set maybe i added the horn i can't remember or not um but that's how this one came originally but here's some more of uh, the 
what I would call just BrickLink specials because you know you want to save on shipping so you'll only shop at a couple of stores at a time and so these ones had good amount of bardings and these horse helmets and even though these had broken clips and, and they're not in the best conditions uh, I got them relatively inexpensive and I figure why not they'll go in great with my blue lion knights and just kind of mixing and matching and putting things together and they, they work out pretty well and he had an extra helmet so I just bought all of them that he had and here's the rest of my blue lion knights and eventually I wouldn't mind getting those guys all decked out as well so yeah they're they're definitely coming along and then here are these carriages I took the horses the more modern horses out of the carriages because they they don't utilize the function if they're pulling a carriage and so you might as well use the older ones and this horse here is actually an old one with a great printing I just wanted to show him real quick and then here is shadow facts from Lord of the Rings Gandalf the white rides and I got a cool white saddle on a modern white horse for him to ride looking real good and then these red-eyed black Lord of the Ring ring wraith horses these are really expensive and rare horses and I have a whole slew of them here we'll be getting into them more in future videos so stay tuned for that well that is my video for you guys today thanks so much for watching please like comment and subscribe and uh, take care everybody and I'll see you in the next one have a good one hey thanks for watching and don't forget we got merch store if you want to take a little piece of the show with you, you can get it right here. We got everything. You want some Mikey J stuff? We got the Mikey J Productions for you. So take a chance and stop by. We'll take care of you.